let's see. Checking out if there's any fish. I'm gonna a couple of rounds and just small bait fish. It's getting a bit dark. Sunset. For half an hour ago, maybe there was one. I have the sonar in the background doing everything with one hand, so it's a bit tricky. I can't really see what size the fish is, but I won't be able to catch them anyway. With no spare hand holding the remote and the phone with two of them. It's a bit tricky steering. I have to say that the OnePlus One seems to be quite good filming in this kind of dock. It's acceptable. You know what I mean. It's not as good as we wish. Getting the boat a bit. You see the deeper behind it. I did a reconstruction with steel wire instead. So it's pinned in the the hole, hole for uh, focus uh, for the I don't know lost I'm driving the boat with 4.8 voltage today because the 7.2 is on charge it takes with my 700 milliamperes quite some time I don't want to overdo it until I build a good charger there focus you can see the the boat and remote yeah you know what a remote looks like we can go for this I am behind a like this I don't know what it's called in English but yeah anyway here is often some um, pike or I don't know what it's called in English I don't know, but yeah, like bass, Swedish bass, but it's not. So, checking this out, it's quite early in the season yet to be here, but it was closed, so gives me opportunity to, to check the depth and also check how the rocks and everything that you often get stuck in. Time is about 10 in the evening, night maybe. So it's not so much water here, it's about free. Yeah, I will clip in some footage from the print screen early on but it's not gonna be as in the other video correct timing but it's good to to know that the deeper is going around in the background so deeper software I mean so I can I can see how how um, I can hear if there's any fish but I would like different sounds depending on the size on the depending on the size on the fish that would be great also knowing how big and small fish is and how big yeah the big fish is earlier today I was going on a trip to a lake it's a bit, bit windy but it worked out quite good I got some pike and my 
daughter drove the boat with the deeper and my son was look out for the big fish icon that looks quite much like a shark he likes sharks so everybody happy and my daughter likes to drive in boats it's getting a bit dark here yeah. and can't get to really focus there oh beautiful boat not much fish here the bait fish is gone away but I got the possibility to just where I usually get to fish put in the boat and fish around and if it gets any fish on the sonar I know it. It's there. Yeah. Beautiful here this evening. A bit difficult to get with the reflections on the water. Oh, not so much battery left. A mistake. Not charging it, charging it before I went out. On the phone then. Earlier today, my daughter drove into a fishing line lying on the water, and the prop uh, it got into the prop, and yeah, it was lucky it wasn't here because yeah, I don't like to swim today. Uh, tying a fishing line on the end of the boat is. Could be a good idea, but driving into it is a possibility, and there is also a possibility to that the boat is getting too too hard to to steer because fishing line cutting uh, through the water and yeah, you know, pulling one way and the other and tried it the first time uh, without the deeper and it wasn't so very good oh focus uh, oh fish usually I throw into the last cave or what it is called or the second I think it's very practical. A good day. A day with fish. I could do this all day. And I should have about two hours hours active time to drive the boat. And what is it? Four hours on the deeper. And I have two batteries, so yeah. Perfect. That is about it. I can go. That is max speed in 4.8 voltage. I don't need it to go fast. I need it to go for a long time. Speed. Electronic speed control. Dun -dun -dun. On the boat. It's a must. So I can easily just go go around my business in a good pace. I'm going to go out canoeing with my colleagues uh, next week, and then I'm gonna need a 7.2 voltage to uh, keep up with the canoes let's see how that works out but yeah much much better because much better than a fishing rod because I can do this going out and maybe 
Hmm, let's go this way. Do that with a fishing rod. No can do, mister. Seems like I'm talking a bit kinky, because it's... Yeah. This gets me on, so nothing strange there. If you're look looking at this video so far, you're probably yoking off. Yeah. Maybe not, but yeah. I wouldn't blame you. Dun 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 dun. The old 97, 98 model Kyosho racing boat Viper R. I don't know, but it's good. Upgraded it to 2.4 gigahertz to get the range. The AM band, um, what it's. 27 megahertz got me about 50 meters range and I yeah swimming could be fun but not here and not unplanned you can hear that the boat it's getting a oh some fish just in front of the boat not a shark but a little one Beautiful. The edge is getting my focus. I'm sitting a bit in so I can drop the phone and not dropping it into the water. I'm gonna be interesting to see how it looks on the computer later on. On the OnePlus it's looking good. I got an edge of a yeah, one and a half meter down to the water. I don't really know. Um, uh, it's getting a bit more bait fish here. I could say that no need for fishing when I can <laughs> drive around this boat. Everybody have. Everybody I, I know, including me, wished for a RC boat. There was one. Uh, when they were kids. So, this is living, living out my childhood. Not having one. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. That sums us up. I'm gonna go for a while and then I'm gonna go home and see what my lady friend thinks about this. Keeping me out all night. Sorry about the focus, guys. It's not easy. Without a good stand or anything, I'm gonna do this with a real camera. But I don't have one, so I have to borrow it. Yeah. So good so far. Hope you enjoy. Oh, beautiful reflection in the water, like a... I don't know. You imagine something. Bye bye.